Hello, young learners. Hi, everybody. Yet another time, I will be meeting you all. And let us explore this beautiful world. In our previous lesson, in the lesson Poonam's Day Out, we explored the animal kingdom and found out that the earth where we live in is the most beautiful home. There is no place like earth. And so it is our duty to protect this beautiful earth. Just like animal kingdom, we also have the plant kingdom. Plants are also living things. They live and they survive. They need things to live and nutrients to grow healthy. So, plants are also to be taken care of. So, in this video, I will be sharing the lesson, The Plant Fairy. This is the second lesson of your EVS book, Looking Around. Now what will we study? Here we will be studying about the plants and the trees, the types of the plants and the trees, their parts and taking care of plants. In the types we will be dealing with the trees, the shrubs, herbs, creepers and climbers. I am Sangeeta Basu, teacher of EVS. The summary of the lesson. There are different types of plants around us. Plants differ in sizes and are classified as trees, shrubs, herbs, creepers and climbers. Parts of a plant and a tree will be dealt with. What plants need to survive? Plants have different types of leaves and they vary in shape, size, color and smell. In this lesson, the plant fairy, there is a little girl who is Didi and she acts as a plant fairy. And along with Ammu, Shabnam, Dayaram and Michael, find out some interesting facts about the plant kingdom. Come, let us explore the plant kingdom with them. In the next few slides, you are requested to be a keen observer and explore the plants around us. Look at that. What is this? A tree. Now, what is a tree? A very big plant is called a tree. Trees are very tall. They have thick, woody trunk and branches. Some of the examples are neem tree, mango tree, gulmoha tree, banyan tree and peepal tree. Let us visualize some trees. The apple tree, coconut trees, wow, right, yummy, mango tree and the orange tree. The next plant. Uh, the shrubs. Now what are shrubs? The shrubs are smaller than trees. The stem is thin and woody. They have many branches. They are like bushes. Here are some pictures of shrubs and few examples. Rose, marigold, aster, jasmine and cotton. These are some examples of the shrubs. Moving to the next type are the herbs. Now what are herbs? Herbs are smaller than shrubs. Most of them have medicinal values and are used in cooking. They have soft green stems. Let us see some of the shrubs. These are the shrubs which are used in our kitchen. A variety of them. Now moving to the next type of plant, we have the creepers. Now what are creepers? Creepers have soft green weak stem. They grow along the ground. I will just show you an animated pic of it just to make you understand how a creeper grows along the ground. Some of the examples are pumpkin, watermelon. Did you get it? Next are the climbers. What are climbers? Climbers have soft green weak stem. They need support to stand and grow straight. Look at the climber. Finding a support. Hunting for a support. Sending the signal. And slowly the climber 
finds his support, holds it and tries to grow. These are some examples of the climbers. Honeysuckle, morning glory, grape, grapevine, cucumber, pea plant, money plant and jasmine. So we have learnt the types of plants. Now we have the parts of a plant. Let us watch this. You can see a seed. First the roots come out and then the shoot. The part which grows under the ground is the root. And the part which grows above the ground is the shoot. Did you watch? Now let us do this. Here is a plant for you. There are five boxes given. You are to name the parts of a plant. Let us check. The flower, leaf, fruit, stem and the roots. Now watch this. This is a seed again. The root comes out and then the shoot exactly. Slowly the shoot grows into thick trunk tree, bears flowers and fruits. This is how a tree grows. Now here I have got a tree and with six dashes. There are also help box given below. Let us see if we can do it. The roots, trunk, branch, leaf, flower and the fruit. So these are the parts of a tree. Let us see now how do we take care of a plant. I will be giving you two pictures. You have to observe these pictures and what do you see? Just reason it out. This is your first picture. Oh no, it's dying. Oh why so? And look at the second one. Wow, it's growing healthy. Yes. Again, let us watch. Oh, one is drooping down and the other one is growing strong. Yes, plants do need something to grow strong and healthy. Can you guess? Let us check if we can find out. Now here, I have got three pots for you. There are three plants also in the pots. Look at it carefully. See what is written on the pots. In the first pot, we have water and sun. In the second pot, we have water but no sun. And in the third pot, we have sun but no water. Now, what do you think? What do you see? Which plant has grown better? Yes, the first one. Because the first one is getting both the water and the sun. The tree is planted in good soil and there is air around. The second one has got water but doesn't get any sunlight. So it is not very strong. And the last one is the weakest one because it has got sun but there is no water. Now what did we learn from it? So we see that plants are also living things. So what does a plant need to grow? Yes. They are living things. Correct. Now what do they need to grow? They need sunlight, water, soil and air to grow. Let us test our learning. What have we learned? Here in the first picture which you are seeing, you have four types of plants and on the right side you have got four names. Herb, tree, shrub and creeper. Go to match them. Let us see. If we have done it correctly, oh yes, the first one is the tree, the second one herb, the third one is the creeper and the last one is the shrub. Let us see the next one. Here you have got to write the parts of a plant. You know it very well by now. The flower, stem, leaf and the roots. Let us see what do we have in the next worksheet. Here what do plants need to grow? We have so many things here starting from donut, air, eggs. Soil with nutrients, juice, sandwich, water and sun. But does the plant need all of them? Oh no, only a few of them. They are sunlight, water, soil with nutrients and air. Did you get it right? Oh well done. Next one, you already found out that water, air, soil and sun are needed for a plant to grow. Now here are the pictures, you've got to label them. Let us see air. Next one is sunlight. 
and below one is the soil and the water. Got it right? Oh, well done. You are intelligent. Now, leaves are of different colors, sizes and shapes. Look at them. The beautiful color, the orange, the green, the yellow leaves, the big and the small, the thin and the tiny ones. And I've got a surprise for you. Look at this leaf. Wow, what a huge one, isn't it? So, leaves are of different colors, sizes and shapes. Now, different things which have the patterns of leaves and flowers. Look at your things around your house and you can also watch that there are many things which have got the patterns of leaves and the flowers. It means the designs of the leaves and the flowers on them just like these, the dresses. The vessels, bed sheets, the cushion covers, the curtains. Oh wow! Just look around your house and find. Oh now, what is this? Look at the leaves. They are all coming together. Oh yes! And what have they formed? An owl? Oh wow! Yes, this sort of things are called as leaf art. Here are some examples of leaf art. Wonderful, isn't it? Can you try some of them? Yes, only thing is you have to collect few dry leaves and imagine and give them beautiful shapes. Some more for you, leaf people. The boat, the scenery. Oh, wow, wonderful, isn't it? We can also do some of them. Thank you. Hope you have enjoyed it and learnt about the plant kingdom around us. We'll be meeting you very soon with the next video.